Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to a new series on building and releasing your first NPN package. Throughout the course, we are going to take the Autony report as an example that I released uh, recently. So in this video, we are going to learn what is NPM, what is an NPM package and introduction to the Autony report. Three requests here are very simple. You have to, uh, you have knowledge, you should have knowledge on the JavaScript and the TypeScript or either anyone so if you know typescript that means of course you know javascript and if you know javascript that means of course you can learn typescript in an hour if you do not know about it no worries i have both the playlist you can go and check it out link will be in the description and we have to do two installation one is the node.js and another one is the vs code which is very simple and we have discussed that in our channel already so i'm just going to skip those steps so what is npm npm stands for node package manager if you are familiar with java the maven so we have the maven dependencies right so for uh, for example in our test automation we might have used like selenium which is added as a maven dependencies in the palm.xml right so in java world in the maven world we call it as maven dependencies in the term of javascript the node.js version we call it as npm package that is node package manager it is a powerful tool and a critical part of the javascript ecosystem primarily used for managing and sharing code packages also called as modules so if i say the term package or the modules technically both are same what are the key features of npm so we have package management we have online repository package.json scripts and cli tool so these are the key features there are a lot of features of course but we will focus on those which is required for to build and release in node modules so what is package management npm allows developers to easily install update and package i mean and manage dependencies that their project needs for example in test automation we use this uh, playwright uh, library right which is developed by the microsoft so we use those functions those methods those classes from the package that is playwright we are not going to write the entire code like from the scratch right rather we just utilize whatever is already written and published in the npm modules so from where we can download the packages in the sense of course the online repository which is npm dot uh, npmjs.com right so there the developers usually uh, publish their own packages and we can make use of it there are of course millions of packages and whatever the packages we need in our project of course we are going to make use of it the important or the starting point of node uh, module or a node package is basically the package.json it is similar to your in the world of java maven it is your palm.xml that is your project object model if i remember it correctly so there is the starting point of maven right similarly in node world uh, package.json is the important file of course we will create our own package.json file we will add all the necessary dependencies and we will see that see those in the next video then we have the script so if you remember in our playwright tutorial also we have the npm scripts right so when we, when we say like npm run followed by test or uh, npm run uh, post install or pre-install so we have a lot of scripts right so we can make use of that and of course we have the cli tools for example in our autony report we have a new cli tool called npx autony report then followed by gr that is stands for generate report and then we have to give the file name right so we can make use of the node packages from the cli so we can pass arguments we can pass the values or variables i mean the values then we can make use of the terminal that is what command line interface is all about so what is an npm package npm package is a reusable piece of code that can be shared installed and managed using npm it can contain a variety of resources including javascript code the json file the images style sheets and more right packages are building blocks of node.js applications allowing developers to leverage existing solutions rather than writing from the scratch as we already discussed we are using the playwright package did we create it no of course we just added as a dependency or added as in models and we are making use of it right so let's learn few of the key feature of npm packages the first one is of course the package.json as i said earlier it is the starting point of any node project so it will have like name version descriptions author license and dependencies so license i will not go in depth but if you want to uh, release a package and the you are going to allow it others to redistribute you can go with the mit license or else in my case i have the gpl3 license uh, that basically means anybody can use it anybody can uh, reuse it but cannot publish so it's basically uh, will be on my name but of course you can edit the code it's open source the code base in the github you can learn from it also and the source code source code is basically like your 
whenever we install the npm packages right so if you go inside the node modules folder you will find the package and within the package we will have like src folder the distribution folder so there all the javascript codes are there and one thing you have to make sure like whatever the code we are going to write in typescript eventually it will be converted into javascript now you might ask me hey kaushik you can go straight away and write the javascript why are you using typescript so already we have discussed the difference between javascript and typescript and how it differs and what are the uh, key features we can leverage as a developer so go and check it out the uh, typescript tutorial videos of course in my channel or any of your favorite creator package yeah i mean playlist yeah then of course we have the dependencies so dependencies as, as already discussed whatever the package we are going to release in the npm as a module we can make use of it then we have the readme file readme file plays an essential role and i will make a video on the particular readme file right how to write it how to uh, make sure you have all the information and everything readme file is nothing but basically it tells you about your project how to do the configuration what are the features of your project and few other details then we have the distribution file uh, so some of the npm packages include compiled and minified version of their source code for distribution this is especially common in front-end libraries where the original source code is transformed into more optimized code from for production use so for example when i develop the um, autony report i have a lot of codes but am i going to publish everything no of course i have to make a bundle i have to give in a distribution form where like it will be in the single file and everything should be there right so that i will not miss any uh, any of the files now then we have the types of npm packages so there are public packages private packages and the local packages so private means of course you as the name suggests if you want to share within your uh, closed circuit or maybe you have some kind of like uh, paid plans probably you can do that but we will not focus on the public package because I, ha I haven't learned it yet so i will go with the public and the local packages public in a sense as you as the name suggests anybody can use once you upload it to the npmjs.com uh, the package the node packages of course anybody can use and then we have local packages local in the sense like it will work in the connected network peer to peer connections or else if you want to do the development and you want to test your local packages into another project in the same system then of course we are going to use it so in our case of course we will we'll see the local packages a lot because of course while developing of course we have to do the uh, debugging also right so of course yes and how npm packages are used in the sense like it is basically the installation that is what we mostly use installation publishing and the versioning so publish publishing in the sense like when we say like npm install that means what are the node packages already there in our dependencies that is uh, package.json file it, it's going to do the installation from the cloud right and versioning in the sense like if you have like major minus version then if you want to use particular version and if you don't want to use the latest or maybe you found something wrong with the latest version you want to uh, revert back of course you can go based on the versioning so if you remember whenever we add a dependencies for example let's say playwright the latest version might be like 1.46 but if you do not like the latest version and you want to use the previous version you can just simply say npm install playwright then followed by the version name that will install the particular version and versioning is a little bit vague i will say so because we have the semantic version so semantic version in the sense like for example we can start with 001 and then we can follow like 0.0.1.0 .0 .0 .0 0 .0. like that also we can do like four digits three digits or two digits it depends on the package and the developer i will say in my case i follow the three version semantic version for example i started with 0.0.1 .0 and then followed by like 0.0.2 .0 and once it reaches the 9 instead of saying like 10 i will say like 1.1.0 so that is how i followed uh, it depends on the developer so let's not worry about it okay now introduction to autony report so i have already made a video on autony reports several videos so you can go and check it out just in case if you wonder what is autony report it's a alternate report to the playwright default reporter why i created this in the sense like playwright report is of course it's a great it has all the steps like all the attachment all the videos all the screenshots and all the uh, meta information that we need in our project but the thing that i felt like missing is the dashboard so in the dashboard we have like chart where we say like the pass percentage if you want to uh, give some meta information about your project for example we have this logo we can uh, attach the project logo or the organization logo in the report 
and we have like author informations we have project type we have few other metadata's right so i thought personally i believe that those are key components but because if you see reports like the extent report or the alu report we have all those support right but in the player default reporter it's missing and of course i don't like the ui much it's just like simple list of test once you go to the test it will give you some uh, the relevant test details right but i like the two column features where your all your test will be in the left hand side and once you click on that your dynamic test result will be on the right hand side and of course we have a beautiful dashboard with beautiful css so that is the reason i personally created and of course once i create any product you know me i will try to release the tutorials also that is what i did for the latex path now autony report and one more project is also there the playwright uh, vs code extension probably i will do that in the upcoming videos also but before that of course i will try to complete all the uh, this playlist this particular playlist okay so from the next video we'll learn about the uh, npm we'll create our project we'll learn all the details all in details okay so thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Tata, bye bye take care